Welcome back to Booze and the Rocks. My name is David Edward, and today is Margarita Monday, and so we're making a maple margarita. But can maple syrup make a margarita taste good? Let's find out. All right, it's great to have everyone of you back here. I am stoked it's Margarita Monday. What does that mean? Well, hey, you know, we're making a margarita variation, and we're making one that is almost Canadian. It's a maple margarita. And you can't go wrong with maple syrup. Or can you? You know what? Personally, I don't think so. I think maple syrup is one of the best things ever created. And you know what? It's a natural thing that just magically comes to us from a tree. And I'm breaking every single uh, Canadian stereotype and pst, we take it from live trees. Oh, I didn't say that out loud. Anyways, so the first thing you need to do is grab your shaking glass. And for this, we're going to use Altos Omeco tequila. It's a silver tequila and we need one ounce or 45 mils. Try this again. Never mind. good enough. The next thing we need is some orange curacao. I'm gonna use some Pierre Ferdinand curacao. This is a dry orange curacao, it's actually quite good. And because of the amount of maple syrup we'll be putting in, this will help it to balance a little bit better. And for this we need half an ounce, I nearly said one ounce, but half an ounce, which works out to 15 mils. Next we need a little bit of mezcal. And for this we're gonna use a Mexicalia mezcal. We don't need a lot of this, but this will add a unique smokiness and flavor to it. And we need a quarter of an ounce. A quarter of an ounce is approximately seven and a half mils. There we go. It's funny, the bottle's mostly full too. Next, we need a little bit of maple syrup. I have uh, uh, maple syrup from uh, the local Zares around the corner. I couldn't find anything small and local, just didn't have any available. For this, we need an ounce and a quarter. It's probably a bit sweet for a lot of people at that, so cut it down to about an ounce. Now, an ounce and a quarter would be about 37 and a half mils or 30 mils, depending on your preference, right? Oh, 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 look at that. Anyways, oh, absolutely gorgeous in color and smell. And <clears throat> this is a 100% pure Canadian maple syrup, by the way. We also need lime juice, lime juice. David's having way too much fun. Now, before I actually cut the lime to squeeze it, I'm going to take a, uh, a lemon twist or skin off here so that I can make a twist for the garnish of the drink, if I can do this, because my limes are struggling here. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, let's give this a bit of a chop right now. Yeah. We need one ounce of this wonderful green fluid. Move this over here, put this here. Keep that off to the side. Grab a little bit of ice. We're gonna shake this for about 10 to 15 seconds. We interrupted this part of the show where David actually goes to shake the ice because you really don't care about that. What's most important is that I let you know that I'm really interested in seeing all of your recipes please submit them either through Facebook, Instagram, directly email me. I would be glad to make any recipe you send and try them out here on camera for you. Back to the show. All right, let's pop that. We'll set that right there for now. Give this a bit of a wipe because I don't need this anymore. Now, one of the reasons why you want to hold on to your little lime husks is because what we're going to do is we're now going to rim the edge of the glass. Now, I only rim half the glass because the person you're giving it to may not like salt with their margarita. Again, depending on personal preference. So, just do half the glass. 
take a little bit of crushed salt. Look at that. Very nice. Now we need some fresh ice. And again, you don't have to use fresh ice if you're at home. The good thing about fresh ice is it's fresh, it's colder, it's not already wet, so it hasn't started melting yet. We'll give this a bit of a strain. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Take your little lemon peel that, yeah, lemon, your lime peel that we previously uh, grabbed. Hope that your knife is sharp enough to actually be able to cut it. And now you can twist it and turn it into some kind of nice, fancy, pretty shape. Throw that on top like so, and you have a nice little bit of color for your garnish. Smells good. The immediate thing you get off there is obviously some lime notes directly from the peel. Oh, that's good. That is really good. It is so well balanced. You get the taste of the tequila. You get slight hints of orange, a very small hint of the mezcal, and the ounce and a quarter or 40, 37 mils of the maple syrup you think that would be too strong is just nice and level. Oh, it is so good. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's try this with a little bit of salt. Oh, it's good both ways. Oh, mm. I tried it with half my mouth. Oh, that is so tasty. Mm. Yeah. I'm not a huge uh, salt on margarita. Salt on a margarita fan. However, it works really, really well with this. This is great. It's just sweet enough to give you that sweetness. Oh, yeah. Mm. You know what? I'm going to uh, put the ingredients and a method of how to make this down in the description below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time you put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you like a really good margarita, this is definitely it. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. You know what? It's Margarita Monday and we're making a maple margarita. Can maple syrup make it good? Being from Canada and the snow and the ice and the land of maple trees, I... What the hell is that fucking...